Hello everyone, Miss Steele here. I'm down here at the bottom and the rest of this is my computer screen because I thought I would introduce us into our uh, Schoology course and kind of look around and talk through some stuff. So hopefully it makes more sense. I know that this online learning adventure is new for a lot of you, but thankfully I have been doing this all year with my online classes. So I think this should be a pretty smooth transition. So to access Art Online, you need to get on Schoology. And I'm actually on a course right now, but your Schoology homepage will probably look something like this. And whether you're in fourth grade, sixth grade, second grade, kindergarten, third grade, it'll say whatever grade art on the little picture and it'll have artsy stuff. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into this fourth grade art because they have been online all year, this specific class. So it'll help us look at a few other little things that I add into here. So whenever you click into the course, you'll see this at the top. And this just lets us know that on Monday and Thursdays, we have Google Meet at whatever your class time is. Um, it lets you know... <clears throat> that on Monday and Tuesday we work on lesson one, on Wednesday we work on lesson two, and Thursday and Friday we work on lesson three. This is a planner. I actually haven't updated the slides, so I'm going to go to a Schoology course that has their planner all done. I'm going to go here real quick. But right below that header that we have right here, and we're in the materials area, which it should just automatically send you there, You'll see that I have this weekly planner. It has a little quote from an artist, a reminder, typically about our Google Meets, um, a digital citizen piece, and then these three are all to do with our art projects. So the supplies you'll need for today, the supplies for the next project, and then our goal for the week. So what we're trying to get done in art this week. The next slide will have um, an example picture of the project the learning goals, activities, how to turn it in, and the assessment piece. This just lets you know those supplies needed again. But if we scroll down, I'm gonna drag this up actually, we can see that, um, oops, sorry about the bell. But we can see that this is unit four, texture lesson one. So I'm gonna go back to this just because they're the same. And that's the same right here, Unit 4 Texture Lesson 1. And then underneath that, we can see it says Previous Lessons. Underneath that is a Google Meet walkthrough, so that walks us through how to use Google Meets. And at the very bottom, important information for parents. So if we click on this to get in here, we can just see all the different things, all the different lesson folders, because there'll be one that shows up on Monday, one that shows up on Wednesday, and one that shows up on Thursday. We'll have different things in it, but uh, it's all to do with the project that we're doing for that given lesson. So this is a slideshow that walks you through texture. If you see anywhere you see this little icon, you can click on it and I'll tell you all about that slide. Sometimes I'll have example videos or videos that talk about what we're learning. And then at the very bottom, you'll find my demo videos that I record for our projects, which you can play and pause as you need to whenever you're working on your artwork. And then I might have some examples, but the last link is the most important right down here. And that's how we turn things in. So to turn things in, you want to take a picture of your work. You can do that by pulling up your camera app and taking a picture and saving it and then clicking right here to add media. And then that's how you turn things into me. That's how I keep track of who's turning in what for my online course. Over here to updates, right underneath the materials is updates. <clears throat> this is where I kind of keep you in the loop every day as to what we should be working on, kind of what's going on for the day if we have a Google Meet if something's due, that will be in the updates because I like to update typically every morning. Over here lets us know when things are due. But in general, all you have to worry about is checking this and going through the different lessons that get posted. One will show up on Monday morning, 
two, lesson two will show up on Wednesday morning, and then lesson three shows up on Thursday morning. If you go to the previous lessons link, you can see that it's just all the previous lessons from the previous weeks. So unit three over color, you can see we have our lesson one, but you can get into lesson two, lesson three, but you shouldn't really need those unless you get a little bit behind. That is it though, you guys. So we get onto our Schoology course, we make for sure to check our weekly planner, and then we get into our lesson folders. That is the focus. All this other stuff is just kind of extra stuff if you need it. But that will be all. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys all next time.